the Volkswagen Caddy is a leader among small vans, and now it's supposedly gone all civilised. Can a load hauler also be nice to drive? Time to find out. This is the fifth generation Caddy, and here we're driving the short wheelbase cargo. You can also get your Caddy as a long wheelbase maxi, a people mover, and even a camper van. This particular model is a TDI 320, and it will cost you more than $40,000 before you get it on the road. The Caddy Cargo's exterior is all about work ethic, two-third, one-third barn doors at the back, curbside sliding door, and lots of basic black, including steel wheels under plastic covers. The Cargo Caddy TDI 320 has a two-litre turbo diesel engine. That number refers to its torque peak, which is made in a nice tractable range between 1500 and 2500 RPM. It drives the front wheels via seven-speed dual-clutch transmission that offers standard auto mode, slicker shifting sport mode, and do-it-yourself Tiptronic using steering wheel paddles. If you're used to upmarket Volkswagen interiors, then the Caddy will bring you right back to earth. In here, it's all about getting the business done. These surfaces are all hard to the touch. There's nowhere to rest your left elbow. The seats are comfy, but don't really recline at all. At least the steering wheel is leather wrapped rather than just molded plastic. There's no shortage of places for you and your passenger to store your stuff. Door bins, a big glove box, plenty of cubby holes as well. There are just these two buttons on the dashboard. Virtually all your infotainment and climate control needs are taken care of through the touchscreen. Drill into the system as much as you like, but you won't find AM radio. And digital radio is an option, but you can hook up your smartphone to stream your favorite talk station. It's a standard sort of instrument cluster here, but thankfully there's also a, a digital speedo between the two dials. It all helps you keep accurate control of your speed and avoid those pesky speed cameras. Importantly, the Caddy gets a reversing camera and parking sensors, but there are no parking sensors up the front. In fact, the Caddy is missing a heap of safety gear, most of which you have to pay extra for. So let's check out the rear seat. Sorry, luggage area, all 3,100 litres of it. You can fit a Aussie pallet back here through the barn doors. Cargo sits on this rubber floor and there are six floor mounted hooks to lash big items down. The Caddy comes standard with this composite partition which acts as a sound insulator for the driving compartment as well. If you're into bicycles, here's a cool feature of the Caddy Cargo. Just sling your bike in without having to remove wheels or secure it to a rack. Easy as pie. All right, we're packed and ready to go. Let's hit the road. One of the big deals with the new Caddy is it changes from a 20 year old platform to brand new underpinnings, just like the Golf road car. It really is a big difference. And it's really noticeable. The Caddy steers, handles and rides more like a small car than a small van. To test it out, we loaded up more than 400 kilograms to see what impact that might have on its behaviour. Rather than get untidy, things just felt that little bit tighter and more settled. The caddy tended to bite into the road that little more rather than just roll over the top. Look, it's not as refined as a Golf. For a start, there's a lot more road noise coming into the cabin. With or without the load, the drivetrain ploughs on relentlessly. 
The only annoyance is the DCT's intermittent tip-in tardiness and the way the stop-start system re-fires. It all tends to make launches a bit tardy, sometimes prompting a wheel-spinning overcompensation from the driver. But a fuel consumption average of around 5.8 litres per 100 kilometres on test was ample demonstration of the drivetrain's efficiency. The biggest issue with this thing is seeing out of it with no rear side windows or smart drive assist systems, just changing lane or merging onto a road can be nerve wracking. That really detracts from what is otherwise an impressive drive experience. Volkswagen covers the Caddy Cargo with a 5 year unlimited kilometre warranty and 5 years cap price servicing. There are also prepaid deals that save you some extra bucks. In a world where white delivery vans zip about everywhere, the Volkswagen Caddy Cargo fits right in and stakes a claim for its share of buyers. So while we have a couple of concerns about a couple of aspects of the new Caddy, there's no doubt it delivers a better driving experience than before. Importantly, it does that without sacrificing its fundamental role, delivering stuff. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. And don't hesitate to tell us what you think in the comments below.